Yo guys, how's it going? Mad Gas here, and for this video, I'm showing you how to upgrade the bow and arrow, the Wrath of the Ancients, into the Fire Bow without any missing steps. Everything is fully here. There's no glitches. There's no missing steps, and it is an absolute ball ache of a one to upgrade, but it is so worth it. Look at that thing. So let's just get straight into this. So first off, you're going to have to need your bow as original. You can do this by feeding the dragons. Everybody knows this by now. And once you've done that, you've acquired your bow. You're going to make your way over to the clock tower. Now shoot the wall like I just did, and it will drop the first part of the quest, which is the arrow that needs upgrading. So once you've done that, on to step two. Okay, so step two, you want to make your way into the teleporter underground near the ritual sites and go to the test rocket pad. Now, once you're in this area, you want to wait around until you hear the warning that they're going to do a test engine on the rocket. So head back into the bunker and pretty much hunker down until that has been completed. It could take some time, but stand near the doors so you know when it's going to work. And you literally, once the doors open up, watch the crawler doesn't die and you want to charge your bow as soon as you see those doors open you want to run out run to your right hand side and shoot this volcano looking rock shoot it if you miss it you get a second chance quickly then boom you'll see the lava ball goes flying over to the castle and now we are on to the next step which is an absolute pain in the ass so for this next step, we're going to activate the red circles on the floor. You see these engravings? They will turn red, but they only turn red when you're flying through the air using the Wonder Spheres. Now there's three of them, three locations, and what you got to do is go in the Wonder Sphere and fire your bow and arrow at the locations that are on the floor. They will light up as you're flying through the air, and you've got to hit them with your bow and arrow. Now this will take you a few attempts to get right, so just go to different ones, and have a fire on here. If I do it correctly, you'll look down, you'll see the circle will be lit up, fire our into it and boom that circle is now ready to be absorbed with zombie souls so all you gotta do now is remain in this circle you can use any weapon i thought you had to use the actual bow and arrow for this but no you can use any weapon and kill all the zombies that are coming towards you and you'll see their souls get sucked into the circle and once enough souls have been sucked in, you will see a massive beam of light, like a rainbow will go across the sky and out from the circle. And that means that that one's complete, and now you've got to move on to the next one. So once again, doing the Wonder Spheres, you can do this in any order if you want, but I just did it like this. So you use the next Wonder Sphere and activate the next red circle on the floor by shooting it while flying through the sky. And once again, kill the zombies around there, gather enough of their souls, and it should activate another beam that comes off it like a rainbow once again, and that's that circle complete. Now the third and final circle is an absolute pain because you got to use one of the wonder spheres that fires you to the rocket test pad and done correctly you will see you can shoot the arrow at the circle on the floor and boom head back there and kill the zombies around it to get the souls into that and that's the third and final circle complete. Next you want to make your way to the clock tower and go up the stairs and press square on the rear of the clock to spin the cogs and it will reveal an apothecan symbol above that and all you gotta do now is run around the map to find your fireplace that matches this fire symbol and there is three fires there's one in the main castle there's one in edward richtofen's room and the other one and final one is in the room from the first dragon head that you use in the game with the catwalk in front of it near the wonder fizz now the fire that I've got to use is the one at the castle and matches my symbol that was on the clock. Now remember exactly where this is because this part is pretty hard. You've got to kill a zombie near one of the lit up circles. So you've got to search back again for one of the circles. Only one of the three that we did before will be lit up. Luckily for me, mine was on the balcony right here. It could be at either end of the map. And all you've got to do is kill a zombie here and they will turn into a volcano style thing once you hit the ground. It is worth to note if you die during this step you will need to kill all the zombies in the round before it activates again. So like I say kill the zombie and he will spawn into a massive volcano and what you want to do next quickly is stand in the volcano and fire an arrow in the direction of where your fireplace is. Mine was over by the balcony you just saw me there shoot an arrow over there and that kind of transports the volcano over to the area where the arrow lands. So I'm going to make my way over there now as you can see and we can see the volcanoes on top of the balcony and simply what we got to do is take that volcano by shooting the arrow when you stand in it to your fireplace. Now it's also worth to note you only get three shots while standing in the volcano and the whole thing resets. So you see there my volcano standing outside my fireplace. I crouch down, 
shoot my bow into the fireplace and it lits up and it is glowing a nice red now just wait a little bit until it cools down and you can go and pick up the remnants of the fire bow which is inside the fire and once you've picked it up it should let you know that you have completed this step of the easter egg complete as by you'll see right now there we go uh, it shows we have completed now what you want to do is make your way back to the main balcony with the death ray and when you get to the top of the death ray balcony you'll see the flaming orb is there and all you need to do is go underneath the orb and press square some people are confused thinking that you've got to actually kill a zombie underneath it but you don't you just need to press square underneath this orb it will explode and give us the upgraded forged fire arrow so pick up the arrow and that is pretty much it all for these hard steps now all you gotta do is make your way back down to the pyramid room i really call it the pyramid room because it's a pyramid in a room i don't know so yeah make your way down to the pyramid room and jam your arrow into this box right here stick it in good uh, and it's in and all you got to do now from this point onwards is gather souls once again to the box until the bow and arrow has completely upgraded and once it's done go stick your bow into there uh kill that last zombie in case he kills you run back around and you'll see the fire changing it into the insanely powerful fire bow and arrow i can't pronounce what the hell it says kriho ama hagagaga almanac or some shit and it is a massively damage radius gun. It turns every zombie into a volcano and sticks them to the ground. It is simply epic. Probably one of the best versions of the bow and arrow, the Wrath of the Ancients, upgraded. So there you go, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully it was helpful and there was no errors among this. Because I know a few people had a few errors actually upgrading this fire bow. It is absolutely epic. It took me a long time to put this together and to get it in the game as well. So appreciate a like on this. Comment down below what you think. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe and continue to dropkick your grandma. Woohoo!